I'm here on location outside of The Rub, an innocent looking massage parlor where an undercover sting operation has just uncovered a perverted den of bottomless scumbags in search of sweet manual release. The owner, Paul Bennett, has just been arrested on charges of public indecency. Whether he's also charged with facilitating the improper spillage and disposal of human gogurt remains to be seen. Guys, we have an image problem. We're not getting the kind of customers we want. I mean, everybody that walks in just wants a happy ending. Only good client is... We have no good clients. I think you guys got the wrong idea. I just wanted to go in there and get a, a massage and then uh, a hand job. Are we in trouble? No, no, no. I mean, no, no, we're okay. We're okay. No, I mean... No, we're fine. Paul, I know when a man's lying to me. You don't have to lose too many beauty pageants before you figure out that you've got great energy really means next time spring for lipo, which I did. Kumquat Queen 2012. Thank you, Dr. Genderson. Okay, it's not good. Not good at all. Uh, bottom line, if we don't get things turned around by the end of this month, we're kind of dead in the water. Why don't you just borrow more cash from Trisha's dad? What's his name? John? That's Wayne. It's Duke, and I'm not borrowing anything else from him. I still owe him for buying this place. Dude, he's gonna be your father-in-law. I mean, if he's okay with you putting it to his little girl, don't you think he'd be all right if you just... Mitch. What, he's not putting it to her? Oh, he's not putting it to her? Oh, he's not putting it to her. Trish? Uh, she's my fiance, I think. What do you call it when you're engaged and the girl flies off to Paris for six months and never calls? I don't know either, but no, I am not putting it to her. So what if Duke finds out that you and Trish are on a break? You think he'll kick us out? No, i will just come after Paul for the money. That's what I would do. Hire a couple big guys, ball him home, wait till he's asleep. Dude, if you need a place to lay low, I know this guy with a huge apartment you can crash in for a while. Is it me? Never mind. Why do you have such a big place? Yeah, Trish picked it out. You know, it's supposed to be for us, but she never moved in. <laughs> like this place. Listen. We will work this out before Duke finds out anything. Until then, mum's the word. Ling, are you posting this? Yes. Please don't. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm sorry about you and Trish. I could bring in more clients if I could get away from answering the phones all day. I promise as soon as I can, I'm gonna get you off phone duty. But listen, we gotta figure out a way to let everyone know that we're not just some Tampa Jack Shack. Ooh, billboard! No. No more billboards. Paul's always freaking out about our image, and one day I realized we're right off the interstate. So I had this idea for an amazing billboard. He was supposed to be pointing at the exit, but it looked more like an entrance. That billboard's exactly the kind of thing that's gonna bring Tanya Harding straight to our door. Tanya Harding? Not, Not the, the one, one you're, you're thinking, thinking of. of. Yes, Congressman, it still counts as a sex, even if you have it tucked back. You say tomato, I say dirty whore. So if you've ever asked yourself, where do these pervs get off? Now you know. For Tampa News 9, I'm Tanya Harding, not the one you're thinking of. All right, everyone, back to work. And from here on out, let's just try to stay away from anything that makes us look like some kind of disgusting. Oh, seriously? Well, why are these bags filled with scum? Hey, these pipes don't drain themselves. They do. Mitch, they're pipes. Come on. Damn it. Listen, man, about this job. I, I can do so much more than just be a janitor. You gotta give me a chance to show you what I can do. Name a job, any job, I'll do it. I'd love it if someone took out these scumbags. Shouldn't that be the janitor's job, though? Wait, are you talking about that stupid movie again? Oh, it's so awesome. He's got like this shotgun mop and he's all like, Ch -ch -ch, clean up on aisle. Dude, Dude, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. You got no focus. Ch -ch -ch. What if I did have the dream job for you? Ch -ch -ch. Would you even be able to handle that? Yes! Thank you, Paul. You will not regret this. Wait, 
Roomies for life? That was not a promotion. You are not promoted. I don't even know what job you think you have. Duke's on line one. Do you want to answer or? No. Oh, wait, wait. Did he say anything about, uh, you know? Mm, he didn't mention anything about Trish. Do you really think it's over for you guys? I don't wait, know. what, Bennett? You and Trish split up? Mm, why do they put that speaker button so close to the whole button? Listen, Bennett, we need to talk. I'm going to come down. We really got to get you off phone duty. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kenny Beaumont, one of the co-creators of The Rub. If you like what you just watched, please subscribe. It's down there somewhere. Click it. Go ahead. I don't know if you did it or not. It's movie magic. Da-da-da! <laughs>